This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Disconnect the negative battery cable from the remote ground terminal. Then isolate the cable by securing the insulated part onto the stud, then screw on the nut. Loosen the right front wheel lug nuts. Raise the front of the vehicle and support it securely on jack stands. Once the front of the vehicle is supported, remove the right front wheel. Remove the fasteners for the right front fender well splash shield. Then the splash shield. Remove the access cover and its fasteners to allow access to the drive belt and accessory pulleys. Using a wrench, rotate the drive belt tensioner counterclockwise to release tension on the belt. While doing this, slide the belt off of the pulley and remove the drive belt. Remove the idler pulley overlapping the alternator as shown. Remove the AC compressor mounting bolts without disconnecting any AC lines and place it out of the way to allow alternator removal. It may be necessary to support it with a bungee cord or length of wire to prevent unnecessary strain on the AC lines. Disconnect the field wire electrical connector at the alternator. Pull off the protective cover on the battery positive terminal at the alternator. Remove the nut, then the cable. Remove the alternator lower mounting bolt. And if needed on the new alternator, also remove the bracket in which the lower mounting fastener threads into. Remove the alternator upper mounting bolt. Swivel the alternator downward, then position it as necessary to allow removal of the alternator. Install the new alternator with the bottom mounting fastener loosely installed into the bracket on the threaded end to aid in seating the alternator as shown. Swivel up the alternator and install the top mounting fastener. Tighten the alternator upper and lower mounting fasteners to 40 foot-pounds. Connect the battery positive cable onto the stud at the alternator, then install the nut and tighten it securely. Be sure to push the protective plastic cover back on. Connect the field wire electrical connector to the alternator and push the locking tab into place. Reinstall the AC compressor and its mounting fasteners. Tighten the fasteners to 18 foot-pounds. Reinstall the idler pulley in its fastener. Tighten the fastener securely. Install the drive belt, first routing the belt in its proper orientation on the pulleys.
Rotate the tensioner with a wrench counterclockwise to release the belt tension. Then slip the drive belt over the pulley and remove the wrench, applying tension to the belt. Make sure the drive belt is properly seated on all of the pulley's grooves. Reinstall the belt access cover and its fasteners. Reinstall the right front fender well splash shield and its fasteners. Install the right front wheel and its lug nuts. Safely lower the vehicle and tighten the wheel lug nuts to a torque of 100 foot-pounds. Connect the negative battery cable on the remote ground terminal.